Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on transposition of great arteries. In a normal heart, the iota is connected to the left ventricle and it pumps oxygenated blood to the whole body, whereas the pulmonary artery is connected to the right ventricle and it pumps the deoxygenated blood back to the lungs. So in this congenital heart defect called the transposition of great arteries, the two great arteries, which are the iota and the pulmonary artery, their positions are exchanged, so it becomes abnormal, where the aorta is connected to the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is connected to the left ventricle. So this will cause the deoxygenated blood in the pulmonary artery to be returned to the whole body, and the oxygenated blood in the aorta goes to the lungs. These two parallel circulations are not suitable for life, unless there is a mixing of blood between them caused by other heart defects such as ventricular septal defect causing a left to right shunt or atrial septal defect and pattern ductus arteriosus. So this is a picture showing the transposition of the great arteries. In babies who have this heart condition, cyanosis, which is bluish discoloration of the skin and the mucous membranes, may be profound and life-threatening. It usually occurs in the first few days of life, for example, day two of life, and it leads to marked reduction in mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. So if there is mixing of blood from the associated anomalies, like I mentioned just now, the VST, AST, and PDA, then the cyanosis will be less severe because at least there is some portion of the oxygenated blood being pumped to the body. Other clinical features include finger clubbing, which is rare. There may be a systolic murmur due to an increased flow within the left ventricle, acidosis and a single second heart sound may be heard. To investigate for transposition of great arteries, you can do a chest x-ray where a significant finding will be the egg on site appearance of the heart with often increase in pulmonary vascular markings. So this egg on site appearance is seen in this picture here. It looks like the egg on its side. And this appearance is due to the anteroposterior relationship of the great vessels. There is a narrow vascular pedicle and a hypertrophic right ventricle causing this appearance. ECG is rarely helpful in transposition of great arteries and a more definitive investigation would be the echocardiogram to show the detailed anatomy of the heart with the transposition of the iota and the pulmonary artery. So in this echo over here, you can see that this AO is the iota, it's connected to the right ventricle, whereas the pulmonary artery, PA, is connected to the left ventricle. And this is the transposition of the two great arteries. For management, depends on the type of the transposition of great arteries, TGA. So if there is an intact ventricular septum, an IV prostaglandin E infusion will promote intercirculatory mixing at the pattern ductus arteriosus. can do early balloon atrial septostomy, or the surgical repair of choice would be arterial switch operation when the baby is around 2 to 4 weeks old. If there is transposition of great arteries with a ventricular septal defect, it does not usually require intervention during the early neonatal period. However, they may develop heart failure at one to two months old. And there is a choice of surgery, which is elective one stage arterial switch operation, plus the VSD closure, less than three months age. If there is transposition of great arteries with ventricular septal defect and pulmonary stenosis, Blalock toxic shunt, which is the BT shunt, can be done during infancy, followed by a rastelli repair when the child is 4 to 6 years old. So these are the types of surgeries we can do for this transposition of great arteries. That's all for this video. Thank you.